painting my Jeep Gladiator floor mats. What? Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here, and that's right. Today, I am going to paint my Jeep Gladiator floor mats. Now, you're probably wondering, what the heck is he talking about? Well, you know, I like to step out on the edge once in a while, do things a little bit differently, and we're gonna do that today. Uh, what I'm talking about um, is, of course, the Jeep lettering right here on the floor mats themselves. Right now, it's in red. And I'm not a big fan of that, right? Uh, red is just not my thing. And I've got some different accents that I've put on my Gladiator already. You guys can see I have the green tow hooks back here. And then towards the front, we have the green trail rated badge. And then the green tow hooks in the front. Now, carrying along with that same theme, I want to add some green accents inside the truck. Now, I thought about this because, you know, obviously you get in and out and is it just going to scrape off? I don't think so. That paint uh, is pretty darn durable. Now, what I'm using, this is an acrylic paint marker. This is what it is right here. I'll leave a link down below if anybody wants to check out price and availability on these things. Um, they come with a ton of different colors. You guys can see there. I'm going to use the same color um, that I've used in other areas to go ahead and make these green. I use the paint markers because they're very simple to control, right? You don't have any brush strokes. The paint just kind of flows. It works really, really well. I actually used them on the engine cover lettering inside the Gladiator and it came out really good. And I say it's durable because before I changed it to green, I had it a different color um, on the Tacoma here, I should say. And I had to take that paint off, and I actually had to use sandpaper, so it does hold up really well. Now, obviously, as you saw in the beginning, you need to clean these things up real well. I've done that already. They've been sitting in the sun drying for a while. They're actually uh, kind of warm, which might be good for the paint. I'm not sure. So next up, I have to kind of scratch these up a little bit because I do want the paint to adhere. Um, I'm going to just use some 80 grit sandpaper. We're going to kind of rub these a little bit. Um, get them so the paint will stick on there really well. Okay, this is pretty simple, not rocket science, right? I'm not gonna go nuts. I don't wanna remove a lot of material or anything. I just want some grooves in here so it'll stick. Again, I just wanna kinda rough it up just a hair, nothing, nothing too much. That's really about it. That's all I'm gonna do. Not sure how well the camera will pick it up, but just a little scuffing. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one and then we'll clean these up with some rubbing alcohol and paint them up. A Little bit of rubbing alcohol just to clean off any of the residue or shavings that I might have left on there. And this stuff dries super fast, so it's not going to hinder the process any. That takes care of that. That's what they should look like uh, when you're done. And now we're ready to paint. Here we go. Got to get the old paint pen ready. Just kind of shake it up a little bit. Doesn't take much. Pop the end off. And then to get the paint flowing, I always just kind of dab it a couple times just to make sure we got a good paint flow there. Set this thing aside. Hopefully it doesn't blow away. And then go ahead and just start tracing. Um, you know, using those kindergarten skills that you should have. Uh, let's see how it goes. I will say one thing to be uh, cognizant of. Um, there is, these letters are painted red all the way through. So around the edges, which I'm not going to paint, you will still see red if you look at them, you know, from a, an angle off to the side. Not a big deal, might actually look kind of neat with the green, we'll see. So let's go ahead, see if I can't, uh, do this. You do have to be rather quick. This paint dries really, really fast. 
So you want to be quick about it because you don't want to go back over it. It will start to glob if you do that. I would rather not have that happen. So we're just going to kind of stab and color, if you will. And I'm going to go edge to edge like this because I want the paint right up to the edges. That's the idea. So far, so good. Again, we're just looking for a nice uh, green accent. That's the whole plan here. And I will say, if, uh, if you don't sand them, you'll have a smoother finish. The paint does show the marks in the uh, letters that you create by sanding them. So just to be aware, if you're looking for a nice, real smooth finish, uh, you may not want to sand, but you may not have as good of adhesion as you get when you do sand. So just something to be aware of, I guess. And I am going back over it uh, at the risk of globbing. I don't like to do that, but it seems like I needed to. There you go. There's the first one. Not too bad. Let's do the E. There you go. There's the E. I'm going to go ahead, finish everything up. I'm not going to keep you guys on here for this. You get the general idea. So I'm going to do this one, the other one, then we'll come back on and I'll let you see what the finished product looks like. I got it all done. It's been a little while. Um, it's actually pretty dry now. Let me show you guys. This is uh, what it looks like. There you go. Nice uh, bright green on the uh, Jeep lettering there. Actually still is a little bit wet, I can see. Um, I like it. I think it looks pretty cool. Again, video shows you can see the red in there. It's actually kind of a neat effect. Uh, don't think I mind that too much. And you can't see the red, at least not much, from straight down. So I'm going to go out now and go ahead and get them installed in the Jeep, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, we've got them all installed. There was what it looks like walking up. Pretty cool. There is the passenger side. Pretty cool. I'm digging them. I think it looks pretty neat. Again, just a little, uh, a little added accent, I guess, in green for my Jeep Gladiator. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Am I nuts for painting the letters on my floor mats? Are they just going to wear away? And in the end, it's just a waste of time. Uh, we'll see. I hope it holds up because uh, I'm digging the look. I think it's pretty cool. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Also, real quick, if you're interested, I have two other channels. The first is Rob Motive, all about my 2020 Toyota Tacoma. And the second is Rob Motive Civic, all about my adventures with the Honda Civic Sport Hatch and the Honda Civic Type R. Check them out. If you like them, please subscribe. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.